Oh, if I screw this up, I want video evidence. We don't need this. <laughs> no. Gonna need a bigger hammer. Oh. And All right. That was a nail right there, look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put that there. You realize I took a freaking spike. And it's a ring nail. Hey, that's the only thing holding it. Aha! Alright, see you through that part. Yep. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how we uh, install our Renew Air ERV or HRV. It's an ERV. Um, and for those of you who don't know what an ERV is, um, today's modern home building techniques where your house is really tight, there's not a lot of air. Go, you go through great lengths to ensure that air doesn't get into your house and uh, you super insulate your house your house becomes very tight and therefore you have to mechanically move air in your house and to do that you install a heat recovery ventilator or an energy recovery ventilator we chose a uh, Renew Air I think it's the model number is EV200 it's a 200 CFM cubic foot per minute energy recovery ventilation system so it's been one of the most challenging aspects of this home build and today's the day we're putting the ductwork in for it so I'm going to take you in the house, take you in the basement, show you where we mounted it and uh, what our plan is for the day. Uh, I don't know how many shots I'm going to be able to get while the ductwork guy is here because they're kind of camera shy. But uh, I'll show you what our plan is and then I'll take you around at the end of the day and show you uh, if that plan came to life. And that's just a 4 inch pipe that will be ovalized. You can see there it's oval. So it's four inch in the wall up here. You want it about a foot from the ceiling or in the ceiling. And this takes the place of a bath fan. There isn't a conventional, you know, bath fan like you see, an exhaust fan like you see um, in most houses. This takes the place of that. The ERV will run pretty much continuously moving air up. So this will come down and I made these holes yesterday. I may have to clean that one up a little bit. But this way, you, if you ovalize a 4-inch pipe, you can get it inside of a 2x4 wall. So there's one there. Take you in the next bathroom. There's one in the... This is the master bath. It'll be on this wall up here. And there's the hole. And then the other bathroom is downstairs. Now, we're not putting one in the kitchen because we're treating the kitchen uh, on its own separately. So there'll be a vent hood here. And then we're going to purchase a uh, exhaust system that also has an intake. So the air that the vent hood, I assume that when the vent hood is on, the intake is on. And when the vent hood is off, the intake is off. So that's the key is if you take air out of the house, you've got to put it back in or else you get negative pressure. Your doors won't close and all that. So, Okay, so we're down in the basement now. And this is the uh, energy recovery ventilator. And... Here's the ductwork. So this one comes right from the front of the house to the uh, into the. Uh, you saw me cutting a hole for it. This is fresh air. I put my glasses on. Hold on. This is fresh air from the outside. Let me open it up. Goes. This will just plug into an outlet down here. 
this 110. I mean, we got an outlet here and an outlet here, and neither one of them is going to reach, so we've got to have an outlet right there. <laughs> anyway, fresh air comes in from the outside right here. Goes across this filter to that fan, like I said before. That fan sucks it up, sends it up through this ductwork, which goes up into the kitchen and another one into the living room, six inch pipe, and that'll send the fresh air into the house. Now, this one here on the bottom comes from the three bathrooms, and I'll take and show you this ductwork in a minute. There's a six inch trunk here, it all comes to this six inch flex duct, comes in here, so this is warm air from the house, crosses that fresh air, this fresh air takes its heat and then this fan exhausts it through this one out of the house. So fresh air coming in gets its heat from the old air that's on its way out. That's the whole that's the whole system. That's all it is. Let me take you around and I'll show you the ductwork how all this works. So again, this is the one coming from the outside. Air comes across. This this one that's on the bottom goes up into the house. 4x12 up here that'll go up to the first floor up next to the dishwasher in the kitchen. Comes across here, all the way across. And then another one goes right up here into the living room. Alright, so we put a 6 inch trunk right here all the way down the basement. This one here picks up the master bath. You can see the four inch there. It's four inch up in the wall so we could get it in a two by four wall. And then it comes to an increaser to the six inch flex duct to this. This one up here is this, the, this ceiling here for this bathroom. And then this one here 90s over and goes up to the bathroom upstairs, the guest bathroom. That's the old air coming from the house. Comes here and then down into here, like I said. And then across here and out. So that's it. That's the whole system. Probably wondering what this costs. This box was between $1,300 and $1,400 for the energy recovery ventilator, not including anything else. That was the energy recovery ventilator and the two grills on the front of the house. And then the duct work, the, uh, the uh, material for the duct work was about $550. And then I gave the uh, duct work contractor about $400 to hang it. So four, five fifty, nine fifty, thirteen. dollars it's about $2,300 for this. You may be thinking, why spend $2,300? on this you know you could just make a, a house that's not so tight well here's the thing I'm spending several thousand dollars more on insulation than I need to and spending a couple thousand on this in an effort to make the tightest house I can so that I have to use I'm gonna get it back in energy costs you know it's gonna take me some time to get it back but to me it's worth it I mean I could I could insulate less, not put the ERV in, and just pay higher energy bills. But my whole objective in this build was to create a space, create a home that uses as little energy as possible to heat and cool the place. So, and in the long run, I'll be ahead of the game because I'll get that money back. And then I'll just be ahead of the game. So, that's the thing, you make the tightest house, again, the tightest house you can, the most well insulated house you can, and then you mechanically move the air. This is just a couple little 110, it's like a, it's not even like a window fan. It's a very small amount of energy this, these fans are going to use. So, you know, both those plant fans are, is one 110 plug, so it's like having a couple lights in the house. It's, it's really not a big deal. So, I feel very good about it. Um, it, again, it was a struggle to get it in, put in and uh, to get everyone to understand what it is. I felt a lot better once the rep came down from the company that, that sells these. You know, finally I was talking to someone that knew 
knew what he was talking about when it came to ERVs. So he actually uh, he did the layout for us. We hooked up with him through the supply house. The manager of the supply house said, look, I don't know anything about this. Let me call this guy. He came down from his office about an hour away and did this for us. He also recommended uh, for the uh, hood, hood vent, I'm going to have another box similar to this. It's not going to, it's just going to exchange air. It's called a makeup air kit. Uh, it's going to pull in air from the outside because I'm going to, I'm, my hood vent has a 400 CFM fan. So when that hood vent goes on, it's going to pull a lot of air out of the house. So I didn't want to just tie it into the ERV because the air that's going in there is greasy air, it's cooking air, it's really, really humid. So we're going to treat that separately. We'll have another pipe, two more holes in our house. Some people would argue that's not a good idea, but so it'll pull every time the hood vent comes on, it'll pull in air to replace that air. And then you turn the hood vent off and it's and it and it closes. So that'll be in an upcoming video. I'll show you that whenever we get that put in. That's gonna have to happen before we uh, insulate. So that's supposed to come in tomorrow. So that'll be in an upcoming video very shortly. So that's it for the ERV.